flying home from driving Ferrari's 812 super fast, I try to maintain my composure, some semblance of journalistic objectivity, don't want to sound too nerdy giddy that's not going to happen, as you'll see when you read on sorry, can't help it the 812 was first shown to the public at the Geneva Motor Show it replaces both the F12 Berlinetta and F12 TDF the super fast name, love it, traces its lineage back to 1964, when the halo of Ferrari's America series was the 500 super fast. Shown at the 64 Geneva show the car had a 5.0-liter Colombo V12 producing a then awe-inspiring 395 horsepower. This latest superfast has a mid-front mounted 6.5-liter, normally aspirated V12, helping celebrate the Mark's first V12 70 years ago, developing a gobsmacking 800 horsepower and 530 pounds FT of torque what's that mean? It means the 812 is, you guessed it, super fast, 62 miles per hour arrives in just 2.9 seconds, according to Ferrari, adding the top speed is more than 211 miles per hour yeesh the company also says those numbers make this $308,000 rocket the most powerful, fastest road going Ferrari ever, well, with the exception of some of its mid-engine 12's more 812 tidbits from Ferrari, 75% of the car is new. New cylinder heads, new injection system, new intake manifold, new crankshaft, rods and pistons, the rear mounted dual clutch transmissions shift times are 30% quicker, hold down the downshift paddle and the trans downshifts multiple times when needed if the Monotino dial is in sport mode. The 812 is also the first car in the company's storied history to use electronic power steering. It works with the company's side slip control, Ferrari stability system. While the virtual short wheelbase 2.0 system uses microchips to tame the rear drive power and improve response time. Combining the electronic steering with SSC means the 812 lets you know, with steering wheel torque, when you're about to overcook it if oversteer starts happening. The system can give the wheel inputs to help realign the car, Ferrari says.